everybody and welcome back to the channel. We are starting a new series today. We are playing Alan Wake Remastered. This game is 11 years old. I am 26. Uh, I remember watching my cousin play this game. Bits and pieces of it. So this is kind of like a blind playthrough for me. But I kind of know what's going on. But anyways... Let's get started. Uh, we're gonna go normal for sure. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. <sighs> Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Hello, my name is Mikael Kasurinen and I'm the lead game designer of Alan Wake. This is a video game commentary that spans throughout the whole game. Commentators will appear like this on the screen every time there's something that we like to talk about. But be aware that this uh, commentary is full of spoilers. If you haven't played the game yet and you want to experience this as it was meant to be played, stop now, go back to the option screen and turn off the commentary. You can always come back later. This commentary is location based, so every time you hear a commentary that you want to listen to, stop moving and don't try to advance to the next location. Feel free to look around, but moving forward to the level might actually overwrite the existing commentary. The only way to replay a comment is to restart the last checkpoint. Now, enjoy the commentary and have fun. Hi, uh, my name is Tim Longquist. All right, so we definitely want to turn that off. Um, I also had turned subtitles on uh, before, but I'm not sure why, like before I started, so I'm not sh exactly sure why it, um, why it didn't have it on. All right, yeah, so there we go. That should turn off. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. So I am playing this on PC, but I'm playing with an Xbox controller. It's just more comfortable for me um, and I had to go to the lighthouse I knew there was something important waiting for me there all right let's get to the lighthouse and it's about 3 a.m. as I'm playing this um, uh, 
You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them if you think it adds to the drama? You missed your deadline! I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. Okay. Anyways, it's about three a.m. Oh, what was? How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Visual glitches. You must follow me now. I wanted to see if. Come here. I wanted to see if there was issues with glitches for this game, which it seems that there are. There are graphical glitches, so there's nothing that I can really do about it unless they update it. But 
Um, we're gonna keep going. Jacob has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. First flashlight. Oh. Pick up the flashlight. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Okay, boosting the light with LT blinds the enemies and burns away the darkness faster. I'm out of batteries as well. Also, I'm playing this on an Xbox controller. I'm used to playing... Um, I'm used to playing... PlayStation, so I don't know if this actually works. Or this way, and now I don't know if this actually works with a PlayStation controller. I didn't check, but it is on PlayStation, so it may. Not this exactly is it.
baby. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deer Fest is just two weeks away. Deer Fest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Main, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. <clears throat> yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Barry. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Mess with me, Bob. I really don't know which one was their car, maybe this one. Damn, yuppies. Come on, Slowpoke. You get the full service here. I've made all the arrangements. I drive the car. I'll even carry the bags. All you have to do is drag your cute butt into the car and enjoy the ride. Yeah, sounds like you've got a lazy bastard for a husband. <laughs> Yeah, but I got a thing for him. Come on, you lazy bastard. Let's go. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. Alan? Thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Uh, of 
course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. Um. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Oh, so okay. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. Cause it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Do me Nothing a favor, Sonny! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, mm -hmm. but both mm -hmm. of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? Splendid! <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Yeah, so, sorry for the weird pause right there. I had to, uh... Bye, Mr. Turn... Wake! I had to turn the music volume down, so I didn't get... I know I'm... I... I had the keys. Alice was outside. I didn't want to keep her waiting. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bright Falls. I know I'm not a big channel right now, but I definitely don't want to get copyright uh, striped, so I had to turn the music off. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some <laughs> flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way.
Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. All right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. I also have a fear of darkness. <laughs> Hate the dark. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Um, excuse me? Hello? Anyone here? I'm gonna assume it's... Here, there'll be a lot switch somewhere. Radio. The Deerfest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one of the very famous artists, no less. We'll see if we can rope them into an interview later on. Now let's uh, go to the phones. Call her. You're on KBF FM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Well, hello, Rose. The power cable goes to that shed over there. Ah. Uh. old generator had been connected to the power cable. Oh. I did it again. There we go. That took me way too long. Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Alice? Honey? Mother. Copy. <laughs> I'm so used to using a Bisexual controller. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Ah. Uh, it seems that if you uh, hit the start button, the black will fix itself. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn, Alice, you- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No! It's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't! Just don't! I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. Damn it. <sighs> Alice? Alice! Alice! The cabin had 
gone dark. All the lights were out. What the hell? one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Yeah. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. I also don't like those noises going on in the background. Mm, this way. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Sorry for these for these glitches. They're they're bothering me just as much. I know this is a great game. Hello. But I also know that um, those are very bothersome. Hello. Is someone there. The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Oh, goodness. Uh... Yeah, let's, uh... The title page of the main Departure by Alan Wake. Oh, yep. Well, I guess that's it. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Y'all, I don't even know why I'm playing this this late. I know that I'm not going to be able to sleep at all. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Where's my flashlight? The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Let's see here. I don't think I go this way. Nah. Up the tree it is. Oh. Anybody there? I have to go Please. through all this. Please, I've been in an accident. 
Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Nightfall! Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. non refundable reservation has required. Fair and square. <laughs> Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Uh, here we During go. your stay on record, trying your walking, it's yes. the latest. Rightfall Sheriff Station. Oh man. Hello? Hello? Roman! Let you kill! The spirit. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone, or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. It's rabbit season! When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Spoopy season, but maybe I shouldn't have got spoopy so late. It's over here. 
Oh, another manuscript page. Okay. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Okay, I have a lot of batteries. And, uh... Not too much ammo, but it don't take much to kill these guys. I don't think this is a good idea to climb up here. But I guess it wants me to go this way. Taken. They're taken. They're taken or filled with darkness. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Oh. I thought it was that big thing. I was like, how do I even get it? go back down the ladder over here because there's nowhere else to go up here <laughs> all right I definitely don't go this way This way it is. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. All right, I got a lot of batteries now. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Aim. Here we go again. Alright, that worked out so much better than it hit the first time.
probably need that up here even though I've only got, I've only got two shells. So... Oh. I was a little confused. <laughs> there's some, there's a, a thermos back there. Let's go grab that thermos real quick. Oh, it's just like a helmet. I don't think I can pick anything like that up. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of them around, so. <laughs> All right, we made it across. Go up here and get in the lock. I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Ooh, the weather's absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Do ah. I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this. I've got a flare gun already. Oh, I... I don't know what that did. I, I guess it gave just gave me ammo for it. <laughs> but here I am, and we keep you company all night long if I want. Who is breathing? Is it me? Oh. Because I don't like the breathing, the slow, heavy breathing. No, thank you. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul Nix. The best dogs in the state. Mm. Belly Burster is the best with no cops. Monster dog is second best. The famous dog is two. Oh no. Oh, no, let go. Another one. Oh, that was close. Alright. So I don't go this way. 
No, I guess I have to go around. All right. There's something out here. I'm supposed to be going. I'm kind of lost. This, I'm, okay, this way. Ah, <clears throat> oh, here's another lot. There's another, uh, a cache of stuff here. Alright. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had the shotgun. No, thank you. place right nothing on the TV okay
Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reached the lights at the gas station alive. How we made it to the gas station. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Gotta be a way in. After the insanity okay. I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. I had to get inside the gas station to find a phone to call for help. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Bright Falls Sheriff Station. <laughs> Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen... We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Alright, so, we just got to the end of episode one, uh, I'm a little creeped out, not too much yet, but, <laughs> um, so far, it's been the the game looks great, the graphics look great, besides the graphical glitches, and then the, like, shooting is a little wonky, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. It's always wonky in the beginning of games, so I'm sure I'll get used to it eventually. But, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next one.